Hello everyone, my name is Bree and welcome to Document Journey. So today is a flip through video and I'm just flipping through this one but I wanted to show you that this is this is my third field notes that I finished. Um, they're all very similar. Um, I always include illustrations, photos, and a little bit of writing to um, kind of explain what was happening that day or explain how I was feeling. Um, but this was my first one. This is was my second one. And then this is my third one. Um, I do have my fourth one. This is what I've housed every uh, Field Notes Illustrated Journal in. This is my favorite, all-time favorite cover. It is by Sojourner. It is a stag leather, that's the base leather, with a special brown pocket. It's a designer, so you have this like rugged edge, so it's a designer pocket. Rowena does sell these on their website, and I will have them have the website listed for you in the description box. But I will tell you that the special brown color, uh, it is forever changing, so nothing is ever the same. You won't get, like, especially with the designer, you will never see one notebook alike. So this is, this is it. This is the only notebook, and I absolutely love it, and I will forever <laughs> cherish it. I don't think I could ever part with it. It was actually my very first Sojourner that I ever purchased. Uh, this is my sticker right here. It's the Save the Bee sticker. I really like it, and I think it goes well with um, the cover, I normally didn't put things like po uh, things in the pockets, but you know, Robin from Art Journal Girl, she's really influenced me and I'm stuffing things in the pocket. I do have two other things back here that I like to interchange, which is kind of silly if you ask me, but um, this is my new one. I have it ready to go and I will have a video um, decorating the front cover with you soon. But let's go through this sketchbook because that is what we're here for, right? Okay, so this is the front cover. Um, this is a sticker that I got from Studio 6. I will have it listed in the description box and show you at the bottom of the screen. I really like this sticker. What happened was it didn't fit all together so this portion was on this side and I just trimmed it and then stuck it on the back and I think that looks really nice. Um, I sell the um, these journals in my Etsy shop. They are Coptic stitch um, so meaning anytime you open the notebook it's going to come lay flat completely anywhere you open it. So that's really nice and I don't use any glue because I love watercolor and um, glue will resist watercolor. It like won't go over the top of it. So all it is is waxed um, thread that is hand bound to hold your pages together. In this particular notebook I have um, Tomo River paper and I have mixed media paper. So I will be kind of flipping through and I'll show you like what I did on what page, if that makes any sense. So this is the first page. Normally I do a quote, but this time I have been trying to work on collage. And so I thought I could slap some stuff down and call it a day. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I'm not a huge fan, but I am trying because I really want to be able to collage my journal covers um, and like them. <laughs> I like this. I'm not a huge fan of this. So I'm trying to learn how to collage. So I'm trying to do more of it, but it's not something that I gravitate towards. So you won't see any more really collages in here. Maybe one. This is two sketches that I did of my children. They do not 100% look like them, but that's okay. That's the whole point of trying. It's with ballpoint pen, which I love, so that's good. This page is kind of like, um, a, like a brain dump almost. I wanted to document the fact that I drew, this is the first time, not the first time I drew on the, on the iPad, but this is the first time that I tried to draw realistically on the iPad. Um, and so I drew Robin and then here's me. This is the very first sticker that I created in Procreate off the iPad. And this is the actual like finished product, I guess. So I was really happy with that. And this is just the sketch that I kind of sketched out before I did it on the iPad. I really like that. 
It was a freezing winter here. Um, normally in Colorado, the weather is, I would say, kind of bipolar. You'll get one day where it's nice, and then it'll kind of like start snowing the next day, and then it'll be nice again and melt all the snow, and then it's just a cycle. But this winter was not the case. It was freezing. Um, my son turned five, so I documented that. We had banana bread because that's what he wanted, and he got to take some chocolate chip cookies to school. I have a process video of this. I can list it in the description box. Um, it's ballpoint pen. This paper that I did this on is Strathmore Mixed Media. And yeah, ballpoint pen and watercolor. This is a Valentine's Day spread. This is Strathmore Mixed Media, and this is the Tomo River. So there are times where in my journals where you'll get one of each. And to me, it's fine. It doesn't bother me. I'm used to it, though, and I created the journals, so I know what I like, and that's, you know, that's what happens, I guess. Uh, this is Tomo River paper, and I really like that. I pull a lot of these like little inspirations like this, like when you see um, sketches like this or sketches like this, it is actually from the Hobonichi Challenge or World Watercolor Months Challenge. I can list those two things in the description box for you. This is like a, kind of like a sketch your day type thing. So. Um, it's just talking about our day. We went to the grocery store. I signed my kids in and out of school. This is just a sketch. I'm not a huge fan, um, but it is what it is. You know, you have those. Um, once I realized, like, ooh, I don't really like her, I need to go back to things that I do like. So that's kind of where this came from, trying to get inspired. Then I did this, and I loved it. So not only is this a sticker, which I will show you, here it is. Not only is this a sticker, but I'm also trying to make it into a journal cover. I'm almost finished. So soon this will be able to um, be a cover for you guys to choose from in the shop, which I'm excited about. This is just another, you know, sketch your day type thing. I, I sketched a little bit of everyday items, which I like. But then um, over here, I just kind of splashed on watercolor. I really like doing these boxes, if you haven't noticed, um, and little dots. This is from the Hobonichi Challenge, I'm going to assume. Um, seaweed. So I really like it. I actually did it in another journal. Let's see if I can find it. So there's the other one. This is a really nice spread. I really enjoy this spread in here. And then this is the new one. Um, with this one, the reason why it's more dull is because it's on Strathmore Mixed Media paper. Um, and this one is on Tomo River paper. So with the Strathmore Mixed Media, it can hold a lot more water, but the color brightness fades if that makes any sense. When it dries, it doesn't dry as vibrant um, like it does on the Tomo River paper. Another everyday object type of drawing. The kids are obsessed with Play-Doh at the moment. So this I drew in the depths of the cold weather of Colorado. Um, it was freezing. We were watching a lot of movies. We didn't get out much. Bleh. It stunk. This is actually a, this is on, um, oh, this is on Tomo River paper on this side and Strathmore Mixed Media on this side. Um, I tried to match the colors as best as I could. I think this one worked out really well. This is just Strathmore Mixed Media and it is a video on YouTube going over all my travel brushes and I will be having an updated video because I do have um, some travel brushes to share with you. So I can link this video in the description box if you haven't seen it yet. It's very informative. This is just kind of like a collage plopping type of page. Again, you'll see these like boxes and everything. Um, it's really just me being able to to put down some photos. I got the pocket palette, this, um, and I just wanted to document that in this notebook. I absolutely love this thing. I have since sold most of all my tins because I, I love it so much. It's so tiny. I'm going to pull it out for you now. It is the size of a business card, and I have two now, so I'm really excited. But this one has the half pans in it. 
And then this one that I drew has like even smaller pans. So these are really cool. If you haven't checked them out, I will list Maria is the owner, but um, art tool kits. I'll list that in the description box for you. Another plop kind of page. This is my way of plopping. It's not a lot of plopping. It's squares and stuff, but still. Um, I like these color com this color combination. It is uh, pyral orange um, from Daniel Smith. And then this is phalo turquoise from Daniel Smith. And then you have um, yellow... I think this is just Hans yellow, but I really, if I was going to um, pick just one yellow, it would probably be yellow ochre, but this color combination is really nice. Very, very primary. Here is another documenting of your day. Um, my kids have been obsessed with putting blocks together and building things. This is um, a sketch that I did on here. I've obviously been loving doing the backgrounds instead. I've done a lot of those um, in this sketchbook, so maybe I need to go get away from that a little bit. This is an illustration from the Hobonichi Challenge. Um, I was just wanting to get back into sketching water. This one is done on Strathmore Mixed Media, and then this page right here is Tomo River. Again, you can kind of tell by the brightness. Even uh, the ballpoint pen or a fountain pen will kind of seep into the mixed media paper. That's just the nature of the paper. And then obviously everything sits on top of the Tomo River paper, and that's the reason for the brightness. This is a plop page, I would say. I drew a little bit, but not too much. Another plot page, just a bit of a drawing. I was just kind of catching up, trying to get back into this sketchbook because I was just um, not, um, just not having inspiration. Here's a little collage that I put together. This sticker I got from Leanne from Creatively Free to Be Me. I will list her in the description box. This is my favorite sticker packet from her. I love them. I might be ordering some more because I like them. Uh, this is to or, uh, Strathmore Mixed Media Paper, these two. Um, again, just kind of a little day that we had that I sketched out. Um, I did this like on the go when we were at the trail that we were walking, and it had some tall grass and stuff. I did this when we got home, but I did this at the actual like place that we were at. Another collage with a drawing and some plopping. Uh, another little bit of collage. I'm trying. I'm trying to collage. It's just not a lot. Oh, this is when I got my brass pin. I am going to be doing a review on this guy. He is in my Amazon favorites at the moment, which will be listed in the description box. He is, I don't know, like he's a no name. Um, he's a cheap brass pin. It's $17, something like that. But it takes these refills that... Um, like a Parker refill and this specific refill is a archival ink refill and so at the moment I still have my little piece of paper in the window trying to you know fade the ink as much as I can to show you that um, there are archival options for the ballpoint so that's really exciting and I really like this pen I like how it looks that it's like the pencil style it's hefty so if you're not if you do not like a weighted pencil or a pen this might not be for you but it I really like what it looks like bringing it back this is Tom River paper bringing it back to my my uh, botanicals some more botanicals um, and some quotes and then also some sketching of my day. My son actually has, has been drawing Minecraft um, Marvel characters <laughs> um, and then cutting them out and coloring them. It's kind of funny. Um, some more sketching. This is actually a process video. I love this page. Um, I don't know how it would look on a cover because that they're two completely separate things. I would like your input on that if this would be a good um, a good sketchbook cover. Uh, so yes or no in the comments about the, uh, the koi fish. Uh, but I really like this. I think it's a great illustration. I like the uh, watercolor work that I did in it. Um, so I really like that.
Another sketch your day. This is my daughter's favorite bow for her hair. And yes, it's Christmas. And yes, we wear it. And yes, it's still May. So I went ahead and <laughs> drew it because I wanted to document that that is like her one and only favorite bow. Um, just more documenting. My kids are obsessed with peanut butter. Uh, these, these, I think this was from a Hobonichi challenge. I'm going to guess. This is on Tilma River paper. I'm not a huge fan of this. I, well, I take that back. I wasn't a huge fan of this, and I wrote that I didn't really care for it. But now that it's in the sketchbook and I flip through it, it doesn't look out of place. Like I thought at first, maybe it looked out of place, but I really like the watercolor effect that I'm getting in it. Um, this is Strathmore Mixed Media, and this is the Tomo River paper. Um, I really like how the watercolor moves on the Tomo River paper. It does a cool effect over here on the um, Strathmore paper too, but I think I prefer the Tomo River paper. And because of that, my next journal, I think, is just going to be straight Tomo River paper. Some collaging and just catching up on some, like, writing and filling in the space. I really like this. This is both on Tomo River paper. No, nope. this is Strathmore Mixed Media paper, and this is Tomo River paper. I really like how this turned out on the Strathmore Mixed Media paper. So, but there's that. Some more plopping and catching up on life <laughs> photos. We have um, a uh, botanical. I really like this and I was wondering what you guys thought of doing like a leafy sticker. Thumbs up to a leafy sticker if you like it because um, I don't have the only leaf I have and it's not even a leaf. I guess this one would be as close to a leafy sticker as I have. Um, if you guys are interested in a leaf sticker, then let me know because um, I think this guy is lonely in my little shop by, by himself. Uh, but this is done on all Tomo River paper, and I really like these lines down here. Um, it's part of the background. It's kind of nice. Some more plopping. I did draw the hand-stitched leather tea notebook um, that I ended up reselling. And then I have this. This was a process video for you that I can also list in the description box. I went back to just doing the background. I really like the black and white um, aspect of the leaf of the um, of the botanical. Um, catching up a little bit of sketching about Easter and some again three things three things is important when you're collaging um, some more collaging catching up and then that's it this is the last page um, we don't do any mushroom hunting but um, still it's the season for it so I thought I would include it so that is my flip through of my latest um, sketchbook and like I mentioned before I um, am going to be just using strictly Tomoe River paper that nah, I just kind of lied to you I guess I did put uh, a piece of ledger in there so there's one there's two ledger sheets from the front and from the back but the rest is Tomo River paper um, and we'll see how this goes this time it did end up making the notebook smaller. So that's exciting. And yeah, I'm excited to get started on number four. So if you guys haven't checked out my shop, I have a lot of stickers and um, sketchbook options. More covers will be coming soon. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, everybody, I'll see ya.